Hello everyone, I am Pratap and today I will take you through class 4 of Deep Learning and Generative AI playlist. This class is going to be very very crucial because for the first time we will be implementing our regression model using Keras. To start deep learning coding, let's spend one minute here. Keras made our life so much easier. While using Keras, you remember only Keras model will use and layers. When we say layers, we have input and dense. I will show you how to use. I'll show you how to use input and dense layers. And we pick up here sequential model. So three lines is all that you need. And then after this, you have to write model is equal to sequential. I will explain. And you have to go on adding. And those who never worked in Google Colab, you just write Colab here. You will get this one. In short, it's a free cloud-based Jupyter environment. It's a free cloud-based Jupyter notebook environment that allows to write and run code directly in our browsers. Awesome, right? And if you click here, change runtime. Here, see, this support is given. Okay? But now it's not required. We'll use our CPU only. That's all. Here we'll write code. Here we'll run. There are keyboard shortcuts. Here we'll run. And if you want, you can change the name here. Okay, whatever name you want. Done. This much only. I imported sequential from keras.models. I imported input. That is the input layer. I will show you. From keras.layers. I imported dense from keras.layers. And here you have to write model. And model is the instance of the sequential class here. And then you have to add methods. One method is input. The other one is dense method. Here I've taken one, here I've taken one. This means this is my, my input and this is my output. So if you see the code here, if you see the code here, I have one, this is input shape. All the time you have to write like this, you need to remember. And I will also clear what are the types people use normally. But then let's stick to one methods now. There are several ways you can write the code. So for the time being, you can accept this way. We have to add input layer and you have to write the shape. Okay, because I've taken one input, I've written one. If you want to start with two inputs, you can write two here. That's all. I'll show you now. And as I mentioned you, this is a fully connected one. That's why we're writing dense here. That's one. Okay. Then we'll find model summary. Let me run this one. I run already. So let me run this. And then we'll see model summary. See model summary when I say the summary gives here two parameters. What are the two parameters? These are the two parameters. This is input. And uh, let me connect here. This is the connection. The data we'll use. This is what I took in my earlier classes. This is a regression problem, if you remember. And in the regression problem, here, for one, the output value is 3. For two, output value is 5.1. If the input is 3, the output value is 6.9. If the input is 4, output value is 9.2. You can think of any relation. There are a variety of relations in the world. One such thing I can say you. Suppose the temperature is increasing and uh, one is the first, first of December, one is 1st of December and the minimum temperature was 3. 2nd of December, the minimum temperature was 5.1. 3rd December, the minimum temperature was 6.9. On the 4th day, the minimum temperature was 9.2. Today, I have collected all the data. I want to forecast for tomorrow. On the 5th day, what will be the temperature? So, we see the link here between X and Y. If you see roughly, if you see roughly thrice, for every value of x, if you multiply by 3, you get the value of y. Roughly I am saying, not exactly. Okay. So, let me write here. If I write 3 here, which is not correct. And you multiply these numbers. Suppose I will write 1 here. I will get 3 here. This is the training. This is the training. Okay. So, if I write here, you should get 3 here. With 3 weight, you are getting. And in that case, I have to take the bias 0. 1 multiplied by 3, that is 3 plus 0. 
and you are getting y. So here is our input. And again, not worry y capital letter and all that, small letter. Because in x, we can have so many. y is normally one column. That's why we write capital letter. Now here, you see, when you multiply 3 with 1 and add 0, you get 3. But these weights and biases, they might not work for the second row. We have to find the weights and biases in such a way that these combination of weights and biases, they must satisfy all the data. Now we have four rows of data. Tomorrow we'll have four lakhs of data. It doesn't matter. The architecture will remain the same. Now, if you see the architecture here, we have written input shape. Shape is one here. That means this is one. Now how we, now how about the output? Output we have not written here specially, but yeah, this will represent output. We are adding one. Okay. So now this is one. This is the connection. And through coding also we'll find these weights and biases. You have to wait for some time for that. Now model summary I showed you two. What are the two parameters? These are the two parameters three and zero, which are not true. Okay. We'll get once we run the code. Now if you see this much is over. Now or the, the, these three, three lines are over. Now we know model summary. Suppose I'm just uh, writing two here. Then what will happen? Let me run it. And then let me run it. Now you see I have three parameters. That means I want my neural network to take two inputs. That means that means it's like this. See here, I have two. It will take two inputs. And then I will have one output this way. So how many weights I will have? I explained this also in the earlier classes. I will have some, some input here, like suppose it could be 1.2. The weight could be 1.2. And then I have to write here. I have to write here. Suppose x1 and x2, small x1, x2, that is capital X. So here capital X will be small x1, x2. And you depend on two columns of data. You will depend on two columns of data. So why is the dependent one? That is our target here. Why is the dependent one? That is the target here. X1 and X2 are the independent features here. That way we'll have two dependencies for Y. Y will depend on two variables here. So this is my X1 and this is my x2. x1 is suppose 1, x2 is uh, 2, whatever way. I'm not going to that now. Okay, we'll do that later. Now suppose I will make it 3. I'll make it 3. If I make it 3, then I run it. How many? 4. 4 parameters. Where we'll get 4 parameters? I have 3 inputs here. So then in that case, I have to write another neuron here. If I have space, another neuron here. Then I will connect this neuron with this one. So if you see how many weights I have, I have here three. Let me write here. Randomly I'm writing. Okay. Suppose it's two. So I have three inputs here and one output. That means this will depend on these three. Now, let me go here. Four. Where I got four? Here one. This is one. One weight, this is a parameter, this is the second parameter, this is the third parameter, and bias is the fourth parameter. So these are the parameters the neural network will estimate, and this will happen during training. And finally, it will fix. Okay. And I'll show you. Now see four here. Suppose I add another one, or may, let me make it two here. So if I make it two here. If you see model summary, now see here, I have 8. Okay. So how you get 8? Now, let me connect from this side. This one is connected to this. This one is connected to this. This one is connected to this. These are the three weights. Already I connected these two. This is the third one. Okay. So 3 multiplied by 2, 6 weights. And we have two biases. There is a bias already here. Let me add another bias. I have space here. Let me add another bias from here. So this is my second bias. So if you see how many parameters I have here, one, 
here three multiplied by two six and two eight. These are the eight parameters it's showing here. Okay. So when you write model summary, it will give you this one. And also whatever examples I discussed previously, all those will, all those will do here. Now, let me add another model dot add and then here I will add. Let me add it. Now, if I run this one, now see here I have, now see this one. It says 8 plus 3, but separately, two rows are given. That means 8 parameters will be estimated, 3 parameters will be estimated. How? Let's see here. Because now I've added, because now I've added another one, as I mentioned you, linear stack of layers. So let me connect this one with this one. Let me connect this one with this one. And I have a bias also. In that case, what will happen here? I have three biases. Okay. But then when it says three here, this three is for this. This one, this one, and this one. And when it says eight here, this eight is for D6 plus two. One, two, three for this one. And another three for this one. Six, seven, eight. So let me erase all. I will add another one. Or I will make it three. Then you calculate. Here if you see model summary. Now see I have eight and nine here. Eight and nine. Eight and now how I got? See here already I have eight. Because I made it now. 3 here, 3, so I have to make 3 neurons here. How can I make 3 neurons here? It's very simple. You make 1, 2, 3 this way. And then you connect. This is connected to this. This is connected to this. This one is connected to this already. This one is connected to this. This one is connected to this. And on the top of that, you have biases as well. So if I write biases here, one bias here, one bias here, one bias here. Then what will happen? I will get all my parameters here. So this is one, this is one, this is one, three. And here two multiplied by three, six, six plus three bias. That is nine. That nine we are getting here. That nine we are getting here. And if you want to add another one, then let, let me write here. I need to add one here. So, let me run this. Now, let me run this. Now, see, I have three rows. In the first row, we already verified that set. In the second row now, nine here. And in the third row, four here. So, if I go here, I have another neuron now. I have no other option than to erase all this. Okay. So, let me add another neuron here. If I add another neuron here and then if I connect this one and this one and then another bias as well, what will happen here? Another three are added. But then you see they are added here. Another row. Four it's showing. Let me take four. Okay. I left this one. So this is one. Three plus one, four. So that way our neural network will be expanded. It's awesome, right? You see, this is so easy. So Keras is so easy. Of course, the engine is TensorFlow. It will run. This is a wrapper. Keras is a wrapper. And it works on the top of TensorFlow 2 now. And if you by chance go through internet, you will get a lot of TensorFlow 1 code. Never mind. We are not using that way. For whatever, we used to write 100 lines of code. Now in 10 to 12 lines, you will be able to do that. If you understood this one, whatever I explained, I don't think there will be any problem in coding at least. You don't need to know anything, only base Python we require, as I already mentioned you. And then 
Now we'll go to the data, and this data we'll see will pass through this neural network. Not only this, whatever I must have explained before in the previous classes, with all data, we'll try to implement, we'll implement Keras code for all I've explained before. Now, let me erase everything. So these are not required. Let me delete all this and we'll make it one. Now I have only two weights and biases. Done, two weights and biases. And now if you see data, normally we write uh, here data, but it's okay, no problem. Now my data X I've written one, two, three, four. Then Y, three, 5.1, 6.9, 9 9.2. If you see the link here, almost thrice here for the first one. The second one, if you multiply three here, it's six, 5.1 we're getting. So better you can take two X plus one formula. Okay. If you take two X, one, if you take two X plus one formula, then approximately it will work. But we'll see the bias should be one and the weight should be two. Okay. We'll train the neural network. Let's see what we get. And because this is for the first time, if you are new to this, you are a starter. You see, I've written compile here. So when I say compile here, you have to write optimizer. And again, just accept stochastic gradient descent. I will explain you. This is not the class, okay? Because as I said to you, you learn in installments, okay? So now my loss is mean squared error. I will explain you both of these in today also and in subsequent classes, okay? And then training will happen here. And I will explain you what is epoch in today's class and in subsequent classes. In two to three classes, you will be quite okay with the coding. There won't be any problem, okay? Now, model dot fit okay you have to compile you have to write fit now in compile you have to write optimizer presently what is our optimizer if you go here ultimately we'll get something like this because the pattern we're finding now This is my bias. This is my weight. So that way, what I want to say you is the link between X and Y is this. You multiply two with X and add one, you will get Y that way. And the small X is capital X here because there is only one. If there are two, we'll write X1, X2. Whatever. I You just ignore it. Okay. We are finding a link between our dependent and independent variable here. That's all. Okay. So what are the best values of weights and biases? Those we'll see here. Okay. Now, when I say stochastic gradient descent, when I say stochastic gradient descent, just remember, okay, I will have a class for this and there I will explain properly. This is the optimizer. There are so many. We use mostly Adam. Anyway, we'll go to that later. And the loss is mean squared error. What is this loss? Suppose I take this formula and I will try to find for one. If, you, if I put one here, this formula will give me three. This formula will give me three. But I have three here. So there are matching. So loss is zero here. Mean square loss means the loss will be square loss. Three minus three square. That is loss. Now, I'll check for two now. Suppose two is here. Then 2's value is 5.1 here. If I put in the formula, 2 multiplied by 2, 4 plus 1, 5. I got 5 from the formula, but I have 5.1. So here there is some loss. Loss is kind of error. So 0 0.1, 0 0.1 square. Square will take. So we'll not worry about plus minus. And for 3, the formula will give you 7. And in our data, it's 6.9. Again, there is 0 0.1 loss, 0 0.1 square. So sum of squared error, sum, we'll add all these losses. Then, then for this, then for 4 also, we'll apply the formula. And the formula gives 9, whereas we have 9.2 in our data. And remember, I'm not dividing between and remember, I'm not dividing training and testing. We'll do that later in the subsequent classes. I've taken all the data now. Later, what we'll do is we'll divide into training and testing. We'll use training data to train a neural network. We'll use testing data to test. That is the normal one. 
but I'm taken only four rows of data. I can divide and show all those things. Okay. This is for your understanding. You can start this way. Then we'll further develop. Now here the loss is 0 0.2, 0 0.2 square. I have zero square, that is zero. So 0 0.1 square plus 0 0.1 square, one by 10 plus one by 10 plus two by 10. That's four plus one plus five. So four plus one plus five plus one, six, six by 10. 0 0.6 is my total loss. Okay. So this loss I got because I have only four rows of data. But how can you get the loss? If you have 40 lakhs, it will take a lot of time. On the top of that, I've taken randomly. Even when I've written the data, I thought kind of 2, 1. Okay, that way we're able to know. So we are using coding. That way we'll get the best values which will describe the data. Not only that, it will calculate loss. So for all combination of weight and bias, it will calculate the loss and it will fix the weight and bias for which the loss is minimum, for which the loss will be minimum. And then now what we'll do is we'll send the data and how it's done, it's done through back propagation. And that will come after three, four classes, not now. We'll not go deep into mathematics. Okay, just remember, we'll have five to six lines of code we'll run in today's class. Now, let me take you through this. So you remember optimizer is SGD, stochastic gradient descent. Just remember, optimizer is SGD. And mean squared error, I've written here, loss. That is mean squared error. Okay. So mean squared error, when I say, we'll take mean here. Mean means I have to divide by 4. What I will do is, I got here uh, 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 divided by 4 will be my loss. I have to take the mean. So all mathematical formulas are there. Let's not worry about those now. We'll get everything. Now, if you go back here, I've, I've written mean squared error here and I've written SGD. Okay, SGD works for all. Now, when I write fit and x and y, Fit means this is the line where the training will happen. You have to compile before that. And you have to send your data through X and Y. Now I've taken epoch 10. Let me explain what is epoch. Let me run once only. Once. That means if you see, achha, I have to run this one as well. I have to run this one. And then this one. And then this one. Now see, I have here 50.3027 high loss. Okay. Now here, if you see, when the training will happen, okay, when the training will happen, one epoch means once. So that means the neural network, this neural network has seen the data once. Means all the data we have sent. So what we'll do is, we'll send this data to the neural network many times, not once. What we'll do is, I will write here, suppose I will write here two. That means when the neural network will see second time, you see the error decrease. Now I'll make it three. If I make it three here, what will happen? Now see the error decrease, the loss. When I say error, this is the loss. When I make it four, let me make it nine now. You see how the loss is decreasing? Five, three, two, one, zero. Now see, loss is 0 0.31. If we're not satisfied, then we can take it more also. I can take hundred thousands. Even the neural networks takes days. The large language models, if you see, they take 20 days, one month like that with parallel GPUs. But anyway, let's start with this. Now, if you see, first time my loss is this. Now, my final loss, if you see here, my loss decreased. So what will happen is my training is over here. That means my training is over here. My training is over. Okay. So I will accept the weight and bias according to with the assumption that this is the loss. That means exactly, exactly I can take the pattern. I can find the, exactly I can find the mapping between X and Y, but yeah, kind of compromisation here. Okay. Now see, let me go here. I can add another thing here. Let me write batch size. See, it's showing now. I will take two here. Then I will run. And uh, let me make it two. This means, you see here, we are getting two by two here. That means your data, this data, we are sending two rows to the neural network at a time. How many times? Two times we have to do. Suppose if I send this way, these two row I will send. 
then this two row I will send so twice. This is one by two. This is two by two. This way, if you see, it's showing two by two, and loss is this. This is called mini batch gradient descent. No worries, we'll do everything. Because for the first time you are exposed to this, you need to understand each and every point. But then you learn deep later. Okay. Now my final loss is showing this one. Okay. After two by two, this is one by two. This is two by two. Now suppose I will take. You got it now. Base size when I say two, I will send the. I will send two to data each time. Not all the data. Okay. If I don't write anything here, I don't write base size. That means. It will take all the data. Okay. If I don't write any base size, it will take all the data at once. And there is a default size by Keras. It takes 32. We don't have 32 data. Let me write one here. So now you see, this is four by four. That means Now you see, this is one epoch, you see this one, this is one epoch and this is second epoch. So this one, if you see this, this one, this is, this one is for, this one represents the training loss after the neural network trained with once. Now, if you see here, this row, here I got loss point 0, 0.136, that is one epoch, one by two, two by two, this is the second epoch. So in the first epoch, my loss is point 0, 0.0136 and the data base size is two, so two at a time we are sending, two at a time we are sending, two, so one by two, two by two. This total is one epoch. Again, we'll send the whole data to the neural network, this neural network, second time. The second time shows here, this is second time. So the whole data, the neural network has seen by now two times. Done. Now let me write four here. If I write four here, sorry, let me write one here. If I write one here, then what will happen? I have two epochs, one epoch, two epoch, that comes from here. Two. Now let me go here two epochs, but then I'm sending data one row at a time. I'm sending data one row at a time. That is, that is stochastic gradient descent. And remember, it doesn't matter. You send one or two data at a time or all four rows of data at one time. In the code, always we write optimizer SGD. If you see the base size, you will know how many rows of data you are sending to the neural network once. Now let me erase all. Now if you see here, I have one epoch. That means neural network has seen the data already once, but one row at a time, four by four. Four by four, how you got? Later you know when I take 400. I mean, suppose I have four lakhs of data, you will see this one also running. This four by four means this is the last one. You will get one by four, it will take you through two by four, then three by four, four by four. Here also one by four, two by four, three by four, four by four. The last one is showing here. That means three losses are already calculated. It will not show. It will show only after seeing the all data. But it calculates the loss after each row here. Okay, whatever. I mean, you need not worry about those things. Just remember, we are sending data one row at a time. The first row, then the second row, then the third row, then the fourth row. One row at a time. How many times? Four times already in one epoch. How many epochs? Two epochs. That means twice. So if I write 20 here, that means the neural network will see my tabular data 20 times. And each time will send one row. And let me run here. And my final loss is 0 0.0138. Done. Now we'll see our predict function. Okay. Let me add here code. So now let me run this. I will get weights and biases and I will run for a new one. Okay, the prediction it will give me. But then before ending the class, let me take you through. This is actually 2.07. That is the final one. Let me take this here. 
टू पॉइंट जीरो सेवन थ्री फोर 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 सो दिस इज टू पॉइंट जीरो सेवन आई रोट रेंडमली टू नाउ विल फाइनलाइज दिस इज आवर न्यूरल नेटवर्क एंड देन दिस इज द कनेक्शन ओके दिस इज द कनेक्शन एंड वॉट आर एक्स एंड वाई सो वॉट आर द वेट्स एंड बाइसेस आई गॉट टू पॉइंट जीरो सेवन थ्री फोर 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 सो लेट मी राइट टू पॉइंट टू पॉइंट जीरो सेवन थ्री फोर 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 दिस इज माई वेट एंड वट इज माई बायस माई बायस इज पॉइंट एट सिक्स एट वन लेट मी टेक फोर पॉइंट एट सिक्स एट वन दिस इज माई बायस पॉइंट एट सिक्स एट वन एंड इफ आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई दट इज ए प्लस बी एक्स एंड इफ दिस इज बी एंड दिस इज ए आई गॉट ए नाउ एंड बी नाउ and i will just put here suppose i want to predict for any number here i have taken a prediction for 9 what i will do is manually i will do a i know already i'll put a b i already know i'll put and x value is 9 so if i write a here b value here this is my b and this is my a i put here i will get the prediction so to get the prediction i have to put the values of a and b so for 9 i will get some value this is what we wanted here more we'll study in the next class but you see here also we predicted we got 19.5 if you think 19.5 see the pattern and just decide yourself whether our neural network we trained that was able to learn the pattern or not yes you see for 9 it's giving 19.5 right for 9 19.5 if i write 19.5 here let me write 19.5 it's kind of 2x plus 1 9 multiplied by 2 is 18 plus 1 that's 19 right it's kind of 2x plus 1 we started but the best values of a and b the best values of weights and biases we got and you train the neural network for the first time i'm 100% sure i assure you the difficulty level will not be much more than this the typical level will remain the same however we we'll learn more and more in course of time the class is over now i hope you understood the concepts and very soon i will come with another class and then we'll proceed further this much for today's class and if you understood please like it so that youtube algorithm will know and it will recommend to many and many many of the students will get the benefit and please subscribe so that you will get all the videos from time to time class is over for today thank you a lot